Pack up for him, Baka. Okay, sir. All right. Pal, uh, can I grab a wee seat here? While, uh, while they pack my rations, is that all right? Ah, uh, sorry, I only speak English. I just spoke in English. Oh, oh, it's the accent. Irish, right? Yeah. So where are you from in Ireland? I'm not Irish, I'm Scottish. Ooh, okay. Hard to tell them apart. It's sort of like Australian and New Zealand. Oh. It's me. Touchy subject, okay. So I must be from all those years of fighting the British. Scottish are British. Oh, you yeah. mean fighting the English? Yeah. Of course. United Kingdom. After they won. What? After England beat Scotland, right? And then they, yeah, and they took over. Do you mean the Act of Union in 1707 when the Scottish King was invited to be the King of England? When England were actually ruled in Scottish team? Yeah. It was because of William Wallace. William Wallace? Yeah, you know, Braveheart. I saw the movie like three times, right? He was a Scot and he was uh, fighting the England. He was like a king or something. Are you real? William Wallace was a bandit. Well, he won a couple of battles, of course he did, but then he just got captured, tortured, and executed. Yeah, but he did kick some English ass first, right? And that's why they couldn't conquer you and you guys joined us in the UK, right? That was 400 years before the Act of Union. And we're possibly talking about the most inaccurate Hollywood movie ever made. Yeah, they do take some liberties. I, and what do you expect when you put an Australian in charge? There's no one Australian. Oh, Mel Gibson? He's totally Australian. Mad Max, I remember. He's Australian. He's an American. Born in New York. His mother's Irish left at the age of 10 to live in Australia so his brother could escape the draft and serving in Vietnam. No way, so he was American from the start? That's super cool, I did not know that. <laughs> and an Irish Yeah, well, still a good actor. So, in Wallace's time, the English and the Scottish were fighting all the time, right? Not all the time, but quite a lot, I. All right, but so they built that wall, like the Trump wall for England. You mean Hadrian's wall? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw pictures of it. It's like the, it's like the Chinese wall that they built for, um, the, to, for the invaders or, or something. Like Hadrian's that. wall was built in 100 AD by the Romans. Whoa, sorry. Sorry, I don't. Not much of an ancient history person. I, I admit that. Hey, but we fought them too, you know, British are coming, British are coming. Well, that didn't happen. What? Well, Paul Revere and all that shite, he didn't he ride through the night shouting the British are coming? He'd been fucking shot if that happened. In fact, he was nearly hung by the soldiers when they caught him. No, 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 that's American history. They taught me that in school, I know this. They hung lanterns in the church to warn the patriots that the British were coming, two by land, one by sea, right? One by land and two by sea. You don't even know your own history. That was a poem anyway. Also, all the colonialists were British subjects at this stage. Huh. They were British, not patriots. How can you be a patriot of a country that doesn't even exist yet? Okay. I see it. So, are you a... Are you like a history professor or something? I used to be a sergeant major. Royal Scots, oldest regiment in the British Army. Oh, okay, I see, I see. Okay, so then, so then who would you fight for now after Brexit? England or Scotland? Brexit? That was Europe. Yeah, but you're free now. You don't have to listen to Queen Elizabeth or, or Meghan Markle or any of those guys. You know, when I used to command soldiers, 
we had some pretty thick young lads, but that wasn't their fault. That was where they come from, lack of education. But every now and then, we'd find ourselves with a deliberately insolent soldier. And do you know what I used to say to them? No. I would get up really close in their face. And I would say to them, you're an ignoramus. And you know what they'd say back? What? Exactly. Is my food ready? Yes, ready. Oh, thanks, Paul. Oh, the Irish are so emotional.